Hi all, my name is Mikkel. I'm a career counselor at Aalborg University. Uh, currently, we have a lot of students contacting us regarding the coronavirus and how that affects uh, your careers and in the nearest future. So uh, besides having some text online or at our website, we've, uh, we've made this video for you. So currently we have a lot of um, unknown things going on and basically we don't know how long this situation will be. Um, Denmark is closing down, has been closed down and now we're, uh, we're looking into the next phase. But uh, a lot of students uh, contact us regarding uh, if they finish their degree here in the summer and are looking to uh, uh, go out and uh, search for jobs. Um, how's the job market currently and how can, uh, how can they play themselves better? Um, other students contact us because they are looking for an internship in the fall. Um, and maybe they've already established contact and maybe even have a, a deal with an organization or a company that they are going to have an internship there. Uh, but suddenly it might be a bit difficult whether this will actually um, still stand, you know. Um, will there be some changes that eventually will lead to no agreement and no internship? And all these things. Uh, other students are currently looking for internships and the market is basically uh, a bit dead, really. Uh, so they don't know really how to deal with that. And um, of course, a lot of things are going on during the last few weeks. Um, uh, a lot of companies are really hurt by this Corona crisis. Uh, some of them are not there anymore. And, and, and some of them are really struggling. So uh, that is the situation. And, and now we see the next phase is that... Um, in small steps, the country is opening up and uh, eventually uh, the companies will start their business again. And, and um, here lies some kind of opportunity, I would say. Uh, some companies, uh, maybe they've let, let people off, uh, currently are struggling with their finances. Uh, they could use some help. They could uh, definitely um, see the opportunity in getting that extra boost through a, an internship or maybe um, a shorter period of temporary positions. Uh, they want to hire a person for a few months or whatever because maybe they let people off. They can't hire them back because they don't have the money yet. They can't earn the money before they have people to earn them. So that's basically a bit of a paradox. But the internship thing and the the smaller temporary positions could be a situation that will help them in this period of time. So um, our advice is that you look at this situation with more like an opportunity kind of way of dealing with this. Uh, of course, it's a huge crisis and a lot of things has happened that is, um, of course, sad and it, it is a crisis. Um, but a lot of organizations and companies are also currently trying to uh, reorganize their way of dealing with their business uh, internally and externally. Uh, in there as well lies opportunities. And um, my advice is that you go through your projects from the last few semesters and see if there are any uh, projects that could be changed into products that you could offer these organizations that are struggling currently. Uh, so based on where you are in your studies, uh, what is the next semester? Is the next semester a new project? Is the next semester... Uh, the start of your master's degree uh, is the next semester where you should have some kind of internship or is the next semester not a semester but the beginning of your work life.
uh, try to create some kind of uh, overview of what can actually, what is actually something that you can do. Because all these things that happens regarding Corona, we don't really have anything to do with. We can't change these things. We're pretty much just a passenger here. But what can you do? What can we do ourselves to be in a better position when things open up and when things, uh, when opportunities uh, occur? So our advice is that you go through your CV and your LinkedIn profile and make sure that this is uh, updated. Uh, go through your previous projects, uh, see if there are any of those who can be changed into uh, products, as I said before. Uh, so you have actually uh, some content that you can offer uh, the companies um, so they don't have to make things up for you, but you can offer them specific detailed uh, products that you can say, if I come and do this for you, within this period of time, um, this will happen. And uh, maybe you can change that into some kind of questions that they can only say yes to, and then you're on. So, but how can you find these companies? That's uh, often we see that this is the largest, uh, the biggest problem, uh, at least for you international students, because you don't really have that big of a network in Denmark. Uh, we have through uh, Alborg University Library uh, a license for a database called BISNode, um, which is basically a database where you can search for all companies in Denmark. And you can find them through the, uh, the words and the, uh, the topics they are registered uh, in, their, in the company database. Every company is registered within the type of business they're working in and stuff like that. So you can find the big companies that you know from maybe previous projects and see, okay, how, what, what, uh, what groups um, are the, the company listed? And then in that way, search for uh, similar organizations or companies, uh, maybe their competitors. Uh, so you can find uh, companies that might be uh, small or middle-sized, uh, or at least others than the ones that you've already established contact with through your projects. And, um, and establish some contact with them. Get in touch. Uh, ask them, where are they now? What, what is their nearest future? Um, maybe they don't really answer, has the opportunity to answer that, but, but ask them. It's, it's better than just walking around guessing. Uh, and they want to hear from you. And if you can offer them something that they need, that is just a plus, okay? Contact them, explain to them why you do that. Um, maybe explain to them what you can offer them in even in the here in the beginning of the, the, the dialogue. And then uh, remember to follow up on your first contact. If you have any questions regarding all this, uh, please use us in AU Career. Uh, this is why we're here. And you can see more about our offers and uh, services at careers.au.dk. Good luck.